Welcome back friends. Today we're going to create a travel poster with a little bit of a pop-up or pop out. This is a really fun design and I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Now I'm going to start off this design by placing a square on my workspace. I'm going to change the color of that square to black and I'm just going to make it a little bit larger like this. Now, before we go on, I do have one favor to ask you that if you learn anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe and turn your notification bell on. All right, let's get back to designing. I'm going to go to my apps and in my apps section, I'm going to search for one of my favorite apps. It's called Typecraft. I always seem to navigate to this app. I'm going to open it and what Typecraft does is it takes text and it stretches it or warps it. Um, so in the top, there's an area for text. I'm going to enter in all caps Paris. Um, in the font area, I'm going to look for a font called Ganton. This is what it looks like right here. I'll go back. Um, below the font area, we have different styles. Right now I'm on none. There's also an outline option with that's unfilled. And we have another option here that's filled and with an outline. I'm going to stick with none for now. And for the color, I'm going to change the color of the font to white. All right. And we see a preview down here below. Now, before we go any further, I'm actually going to reset the shape. That way it condenses it a little bit for me. Up here where it has the mirror points, there's no mirror, there's horizontal mirror, and there's vertical mirror. So basically when you are moving the points uh, over here, we can uh, be consistent by choosing horizontal or vertical or just having no mirror at all. I'm going to start by grabbing the center and moving it up or stretching it up. I'm going to change to horizontal. That way, when I click this circle, it's going to move this circle as well. And I'm just going to stretch that upward, just trying to keep it as even as possible with all the other points. And I'll add that to my design just to see what it looks like. Now we can see over here, I've skewed it to the center a little bit too much. So I'm just going to grab that point and I'm going to move it out just a tad bit and I'll update that element. Okay, so now that is absolutely perfect. And I'm going to move that right up here and I'll just make that a little bit smaller like that. I'm going to take a duplicate of that um, design and I'm going to uh, with it clicked and because I have the duplicate now, I can come right back here and I can change the text. So I'm going to change the text to France. And I don't have to do anything else because I've already stretched it as much as I need to. And I'm just going to update that text and that will update it on my workspace as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go back and place another square on my workspace. So I don't need this anymore. So I'm just going to close it. And just so you know, if you have to change anything, just click edit and that will take you right back into Typecraft where you can make some changes. So I'm going to go back up to the top two elements and I want to place a rectangle on my workspace. So you can either click it here or you can press R to add a rectangle or a square to your workspace. I'm going to stretch that out and uh, I'm going to change the color of that rectangle to white. I'm also going to make a duplicate and I'm going to do the same right here. And I'm just going to match up the ends over here. So I'm pretty okay with what that looks like right now. What we're going to do now is we're going to come to the share button. We're going to download this uh, and um, we're going to download it as a PNG. I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to grab that PNG and bring it back 
onto my workspace. Here it is right here. And I'm going to stretch that out a little bit like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come back up top to the BG remover and I'm going to remove the background. And if you don't have Canva Pro, don't worry. There's an option in the app section for free background removers if you need one. Now, to make sure that the background has been removed, we're going to click bank background remover one more time and we can see, yes, the background has been removed. So that's perfect. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to place this design on my workspace. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and I want to make sure that the top of the Eiffel Tower is sticking out of that overlay on top and I'll leave it like that. I'm going to make a duplicate of this and I'm just going to place it right on top. And I'm going to go into edit for the duplicate. And I'm going to go into Magic Studios Magic Grab. And I'm going to grab that Eiffel Tower. So I'm just going to click it and hope that it does select it as well. Um, so that's okay. That's all I really need. I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to say grab. And I'm now going to get rid of the background and keep what I've selected. So I'm going to get rid of that background. And don't forget, it is sitting on top of the original. So I've got two layers here. All right, if we go to position and layers, I've got the original background and then I've got the Eiffel Tower, which I separate from the second image. I'm going to grab the original image and I'm going to move it behind that overlay. So here it is right here with it selected. I'm going to crop it so that it's behind my overlay and you can't see it. I'm going to grab both of these images and I'm just going to make them a little bit taller. And I'll just grab that original image and again, I'm just going to crop it and tuck it right in behind that overlay. I'm going to grab that overlay, this black one right here, and I now want to change it to white. So I'm going to click edit. I'm going to go to dual tone and I'm going to select custom. I'm going to change the shadows to white. And I will also change the highlights to the whitest white. So it blends right in perfectly. Now that I'm done, I'll just close that and I'm going to grab everything that's on my workspace. I'll just bring it down a little bit like that. I'm going to grab that Eiffel Tower. I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow. So I'll add this drop shadow and I'll just reposition it so that it's sitting right on top of the background image like that. Now there's one more thing that I want to try with you and I need to hear from you which one you prefer, which one you think is better or nicer. Um, so we've got Paris, France here. Now if I go back up to the text that I created with Typecraft and I'll make a duplicate of that and I'll go into edit. We're now going to come up here. We're going to choose the unfilled option. And I'm going to change the color to white. So if you come down, you'll see in the preview, it is pink right now. I'm going to change it, that outline to white. And I'm going to add that or update my text element. So I'm going to grab that element and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to place it right on top. Of the text that I created. 
And I want to know from you, what do you think? Which one do you like? Do you like it with it directly on top so that we actually see the P there? Or do we, you like it a little bit over to the left where it kind of makes a little bit of a 3D effect? I want to hear feedback from you. Let me know which one do you prefer better? And that is pretty much it for this design. Now, if you want to put this on a t-shirt, you want to sublimate, sublimate it, or you want to use it for DTF, of course, you're going to have to download the design again, and you're going to have to remove the background so that it's 100% transparent. Anyhow, my friends, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, Give me a like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. If you want to learn more about my live classes, let me know in the comments and I'll give you more info. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.